This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I just wanted to do a quick video on updating the Big Tree Tech touch screens so they're compatible with Clipper. It doesn't make the touch screen work great, but at least allows you to use a screen attached to your print. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to set up the touch screens of both the SKR3, which I'm using on my Ender 5 Plus, and as well as setting it up on the SKR Mini E3 version 3. So I'm just going to start with my Ender 5 Plus, the SKR3. Navigating to the GitHub repository for this board, going to firmware, clipper, and then I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of the README. And here's the display code. So I'm going to copy that code copy it, and then head on over to my Clipper installation via main sale, and I'm just going to printer.config. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the config file, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the display code. Hit save and restart. And once this restarts, the Display will then be available over on my Ender 5 Plus. So let's go ahead over and take a look. So when I switch over to TFT mode, you can see I actually have the display showing, not showing Marlin mode, but this is actually working. So if I go here, you can see I have various controls. I hit control and I can hit home all. And with home all, my printer then proceeds to home. So I can actually control my printer. As you can see, this allows me to emulate the Marlin mode screen, and it does actually work. It's not great, but at least now the screen works, and I can use at least a little bit to, to maneuver around. I don't necessarily have to have my laptop upstairs or um, a web browser. So let's just take a quick look over at the SKR Mini E3. Going ahead and navigate it over to the Big Tree Tech repo for the SKR Mini E3. I'm on version three. If I scroll down on the README, here's the code again. Now the code is different depending on the board, so you have to look yours up. And as I mentioned, this allows you to emulate the 12864 mode on the screens. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, please post them down below in the comments. If you like what I'm doing, please feel free to give me a like and subscribe. Appreciate your time. Hope you have a good night and hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.